All right, folks, we're back again today with Lone Star Grills, and today we got the 36-inch pellet smoker rolling some beautiful blue smoke here. We've had a brisket on uh, overnight. Show you that real quick. Got a nice 12-pounder with some beautiful blue smoke rolling around it. Got some bark really starting to form around it. Got my meat probe in the point there, keeping track of our internal temp as we cook. But today's video isn't really so much about the actual brisket as it is couple new, actually two new features that Fireboard has rolled out that are now available in conjunction with your pellet smoker. First question is, when's this brisket going to be done? It's been on, on, it's been on all night. We're at 173 right now. We've hit that stall. It's been there ever since I've woken up or in, within a couple degrees. So it's at that dreaded stall and we want to know when's it going to be done. So now we can go to our app. Down at the bottom, you'll see a tab that says Analyze. If you don't see Analyze at the bottom, go to your app store, update your app so that it will now show up. So if you click on Analyze and then Start New Analysis and then select Predictive, you'll be taken to a screen where you've got several different options to fill in. You can name this cook, which this would be brisket, yours would be whatever it is. Second is Channel Selection. So We've got one through six. Mine happens to be plugged into channel two, so I'm going to select channel two. And then internal temp. We want it to be at 200 degrees, so we're going to put 200 degrees there. Then start analysis. Now, once you select start analysis, it's going to take into account the time it's been cooking, how fast the temperature is rising, and now it's going to predict when it will be done within a window. That window could be 30 minutes, it could be an hour, and that window will tighten down as it starts to get closer to being done. So now we'll have a general idea of when this will be done. And we can do this for chicken breasts. We can do it for pork butts. We can do it for steak, any number of proteins, any protein really, as long as we have a meat probe in it. So now we'll know exactly when it'll be done. Second cool feature. So now if we come over here right now, we can see that we're um, running at, we've got it set at 210. It's at 221, and we're basically running on the PID programming. So if we click on any of the buttons on the side, we hit pellet, we hit more, and then we come up here to the top and we see auto. If we toggle that, now we're in manual mode. And you can see the percent, as I turn the knob, it increases the percent from zero all the way to 100. We can go to 100 or all the way back down to zero and anywhere in between. And what that's doing is, selecting the auger speed. You still see your temperature, so our temperature is still displayed, but it's no longer controlling it on the PID settings. It's controlling the auger setting. So instead of saying we want it to be at 210, now we're saying we want a certain percentage, anywhere between zero and 100 again. Zero is obviously zero speed. It's completely off. That's not gonna work. So you need to be a little bit above that. Three, four, five percent is like really the threshold at the bottom. Now, why is this useful? Well, it's not very useful for cooking a brisket, but if we're searing steaks or cooking burgers, especially burgers or something that's a little bit fatty and it's gonna flare up on us, then we would rather have it on manual mode. And the reason why is a normal pellet smoker, you lift the lid, you want to grill, you turn it to the max, it's at 450, we wait for it to get to 450, we put the burgers on, we're doing good, we flip them, they start to flare up. Now the temperature rises, but because it was on the, the PID controls, it stops feeding as many pellets. This feeds a constant rate of pellets, no matter what the temperature does. So we don't like the temperature, we can just go down or we can go up with our feed rate. But this is very useful in direct grilling, grilling steaks. That way, every time you get a flare up or you get um, that burger dripping that fat down in there and it's adjusting the feed rate, it'll no longer do that. Now we're gonna feed a steady rate of pellets the entire time we're grilling. And it's kind of cool, you can play around with it too. Like pizzas would be really cool. We can actually achieve a little bit higher temperature with the manual mode. Um, again, that's something that you kind of got to play around with as far as lows and highs, um, depending on the pellets that you're using. But again, two really cool new features that are already there, already available on your pellet grill uh, for you to play around with. Uh, may need to update your app, but um, other than that, yep. Check it out, have fun, and uh, check us out on LoneStarGrills.com if you got any other questions or give us a call, 936-494-3477.